a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. We are back in the Dominican Republic. We're in Puerto Valle uh, after a practically windless Mona passage. Um, we're still waiting to check in with immigration. We've kind of been checking in slowly over the last 12 hours. We already talked to the Comandante was on our boat last night and one of the guys from the marina, then we checked into the marina this morning, so have to go to immigration. And then later today we have to talk to the Comandante again so we can head across the bay, um, Samana Bay, to the Taino Park. The check-in process did involve a lot of waiting around, but we certainly couldn't complain about the accommodations. to um, Los Itises National Park. We're going to go explore some caves. There's some Taino petroglyphs um, in one of the caves and then there's I think a couple of them that you can dingy into. Though we saw a couple of tour boats around the area, we mostly had the park all to ourselves, so we were able to get the full creepy cave experience, bats and all. or something, maybe fish bones. Because archaeological evidence found in the caves indicates they've been used by different cultures over thousands of years, the group responsible for creating the pictographs and petroglyphs is not certain. However, it is believed that many of the paintings were made by the Taino people, who migrated to the Caribbean from South America around 500 AD and spread across Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. The Tainos often use caves as burial ground, and the pictographs they made were representations of themselves, their myths and deities, and the natural world. Their agricultural communities were flourishing by the time Europeans made contact, but the Taino were nearly wiped out during colonization. Or, if this were the Discovery Channel, I could instead tell you that these ancient drawings mysteriously appeared in the caves, and serve as evidence that Earth was colonized by magical dancing aliens with garden rakes where their hands should be.
say what you did. I told you we should have brought the gas can. Huh. Say what you really did. <laughs> I said we didn't need the gas can because we weren't going that far. Like you always say. Yeah. And then we always run out of gas. Mm -hmm. After I say let's bring the gas can. Now I have to go all the way behind that island. Where are we leaving? Puerto, Puerto Valle. Uh, we're sailing out of Samana Bay and heading to Lupron. Um, we saw some whales coming in, so we're hoping we have another chance to maybe see some on the way back out. And there's not a uh, forecast for whether it would be too much wind, but we're going to try to sail as much as we can and see if we can make it in by the end of the day tomorrow. Um, we did get kind of a late start, so hoping we don't have to spend two nights out to make it to Lupron, but it's possible we could. But we'll see how it goes. We did see quite a few humpback whales in Samana Bay. It was pretty difficult to get any footage with the boat bouncing around in the swells. I don't think I got it. We are very slowly making our way along the north coast of the Dominican Republic from Samana to Luperon. And um, yeah, last night we had a lot of a lot of traffic going by, um, quite a few big freighters, and then closer to shore there's a lot of little fishing boats. Uh, right now there's a big, uh, well, a tugboat pulling a giant barge, probably about a quarter mile behind it. So definitely had to keep our eyes open and be paying attention uh, last night and today, I guess. But yeah, there's a tugboat, and then probably about a quarter mile behind it. Oh, there it is, a giant barge. So you definitely want to want to get in between those two in the middle of the night. So we're back in Luperon and for about 12 bucks a day you can rent a little motorcycle. Um, mostly just from random guys on the street asking if you want to rent their bike. So uh, we found some kid and yeah, we handed him 600 pesos and we're just supposed to meet him back on the corner where we saw him earlier to give him back his bike. So no paperwork or anything and over a few hundred pesos and you get the keys to the bike for the day. Mm. So they're very trusting. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón. A la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. La, 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 la casa del merengue. La, Casa de la bachata. We're at Point Isabella, which is, according to what we read, 
um, the first European settlement in the New World. So Christopher Columbus landed here in 1493, perhaps. Perhaps. Yes. Our Spanish is not that wonderful, so it's not necessarily the most exciting of places, but it's pretty. Well, based on the number of graves and this guy here, I guess the first settlers to the New World didn't have such an easy time of things. And they're all very small. <laughs> Not really sure who this is though. I don't see any kind of plaque or anything explaining why there's some skeleton here. But I don't know how to ask who it is in Spanish because I can't remember how to say skeleton. So the closest I could get was who is the dead guy under the ground. But I haven't asked that because it seems rude. So I thought if I started dressing the part, maybe I'd get a little bit more respect and uh, be taken a little more seriously as captain around here.